Welcome back inside Massimo Motors. Today we're inside the warehouse and we're going to show you how to install the uh, roll cage, the canopy. We're also going to go over the installation of the seats, your, uh, the steering wheel, as well as the seat belts. Actually, this is going to be all part of the uncrating process. So we're going to start by assembling the roll cage. Your seats will be open and off once, they, once you get your package. We're going to take off the center console and then we're going to start the installation of the roll cage. So we're going to loosen up this bar here. You loosen these two bolts here on the driver's side and the two bolts back there on your passenger side. And that way you can have some play in order to put the roll cage on. You have the center piece that goes right here. You can play with it just a little bit. That way you can fit it in. Do snap, snap on. That was good. Down. You don't have to tighten them down. Just that way it can be in place. That way you can have a lot better. Here we go. Those. And this one it comes with the side markers kind of circle shaped that way it can go around the bar either way you can put it in this way or this way we like to put them in female towards the back and then this side is a male screw in this side once again, don't don't tie them up. Just kind of keep them there. Up. Give a little bit more play for this one. That way, you put the bottom base of the roll cage on it. Kind of want to scoot it up, and then you have the, the bolts, which are these. Size 13 millimeter. You kind of play with it until you get the end there. Going to see the little top one first, the middle one, and then the base one. Right the of the roll cage. That way everything just falls in. Now the specs for the torque on these is supposed to be 30 pounds. Uh, any torque wrench will do it. Size 14 millimeter for this bolt right here. And you want to get yourself an L-shaped Allen wrench. Now the L-shaped Allen wrench should be an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. The gun is not going to be able to fit there, so just grab a 14 millimeter wrench. Or you can put the one on the back side like this. Or a ratchet. And it screws in. And make sure you hold this tight. Seat belts come with two bolts and a spacer. Now, these bolts are kind of different from the other ones, so the one for the roll cage for here is almost similar to that one, but then again, it has a little kind of a washer thing on the bottom of the base bolt. Get your um, seat belt. 
make sure this has a sort of like an L shape on it. Uh, make sure this one's flat on the roll bar. L shape. Put the spacer in between the bolt and the seat belt bracket here. Goes into the slot. And you got There you go. 14. And the size 14 on this one. Um, pass me the, uh, the gun, Wesley. Size 14 on the side. Size 17 millimeter or 11 16 either of them. When you put this on, make sure a lot of free play. Sometimes that'll be a tighten in there and that'll move the levers. Right now it's good. Then you have your center centerpiece console. It should be in here. And there are six holes. And then line it on there. You have your bolts, which they're Allen's as well. There you go. It's a four millimeter for these bolts here. Locate the holes in there. Put them all in there. Don't over tighten, just kind of fill it and it'll go in real easy. And that's it, that's how you put a screw on. Okay. Welcome back. Glad that you learned how to put on your steering wheel, your roll cage, learned how to do the seat belts today, and uh, hope this instructional video made it a little easier. Thanks to Wes and Elvis for helping out today, and we'll see you next time.